We'll discuss one cause of hypo hypocoagulable states. One is platelet pathology. And whenever you have a endothelial injury in a blood vessel, your basement membrane, the collagen and von Willebrand factor gets exposed and that's the first step in the process of creating a platelet plug. So if you have von Willebrand's disease, you have a defect or mutation in the von Willebrand factor and it can't attach to the platelet, then you're not gonna have that first step and you're gonna have a bleeding disorder. You're gonna bleed more than you should, hypocoagulable. Well, what if your von Willebrand factor is okay? So you don't have von Willebrand's disease, but the actual protein that attaches to von Willebrand's factor is, has a defect or mutation. That protein is called GP1B for glycoprotein 1B. That disease process is called bernard solier syndrome, and that would be a defect there. So you, in essence, you get the same effect. You can't get that first platelet to stick to the injured endothelial wall. So let's say all those work fine. You get the platelet attached, but the platelet release doesn't occur like it should. You don't get all the serotonin and ADP and thromboxane A2, which is a prostaglandin, to be released from the platelets in the platelet release reaction like it should. Well, that's called storage pool disease where these aren't released because when they're released, they stimulate platelet aggregation and platelets to stick to other platelets. So that could be an issue in that disease. What if the glycoprotein that holds one platelet to the next has a defect or mutation? That's called Glads Glansman's thrombostenia. And that's where, with this one, this GP2B3A receptor on the platelets, it has a little fibrinogen bridge and it sticks to the next platelet through another GP2B3A receptor. And that's how platelet aggregation takes place. So when that platelet plug's forming, it has to stick to the wall and the platelets have to stick to each other. And um, so you can see the underlying physiology behind each of these pathologic processes.